welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that from the following data, find the coefficient of correlation and obtain the two regression equations. And this data is given to us. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is the regression equation of y on x is given as y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole. There, y bar is the mean value of y, x bar is the mean value of x, and b by x is the regression coefficient of y on x, and b by x is given as summation dx into dy over summation dx square where dx is equal to x minus x bar and dy is equal to y minus y bar. That is, dx and dy are the deviations of the variables x and y from the arithmetic means of the series. Secondly, the regression equation of x on y is given as x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole, where bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y, and this is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy squared. And third is r squared is equal to byx into bxy where byx and bxy are regression coefficients and where r is the coefficient of correlation. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. First of all, we will make a table for the given data. So we have made a table for the given data. In the first column, we have written the different values of x. In the second column, the different values of y. Then in the next column, we will find the deviation dx, which is equal to x minus x bar. Then in the next column, we will find the deviation dy, which is equal to y minus y bar. And in the next column, we will find dx into dy. Then after this, we will find dx square. And in the last column, we will find dy square. Now on adding all the values of x, we are getting summation x is equal to 135. And on adding all the values of y, we are getting summation y is equal to 207. Now, the mean value of x is equal to summation x over number of observations. Now here, summation x is 135 over the number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the number of observations are 9. So this will be equal to 15. Similarly, the mean value of y, which is y bar, is equal to summation y over number of observations, which are n. So this is equal to, now summation y is 207 over n, which is 9, will give 23. So we will find the deviation dx which will be equal to x minus x bar, and x bar is 15, and dy is equal to y minus y bar, so this will be equal to y minus y bar is 23. Now we will find out dx, and dx is equal to x minus 15, that is we will subtract 15 from the different values of x. So 11 minus 15 will give minus 4, 12 minus 15 
is minus 3, 14 minus 15 is minus 2, 14 minus 15 is minus 1, next it will be 0, then it will be 1, then 2, then 18 minus 15 is 3, and 19 minus 15 is 4. Similarly, we will find dy, and it is equal to y minus 23, so 30 minus 23 will give 7, 27 minus 23 is 4, 26 minus 23 will give 3, 24 minus 23 is 1, then next it is minus 1, then minus 2, then 20 minus 23 is minus 3, then 19 minus 23 will give minus 4, and then minus 5. And now we will find dx into dy. So minus 4 into 7 is minus 28. Minus 3 into 4 is minus 12. Then this is minus 6. It will be minus 1. 0 into minus 1 is 0. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. This will give minus 12. And this will give minus 20. Then in the next column we will find dx square. That is, we will square the different values of dx. Firstly, minus 4 square will give 16. Minus 3 square is 9. Minus 2 square is 4. Minus 1 square is 1. Then next it is 0. Then 1 square 1. 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. And 4 square is 16. Then in the last column, we will find dy square, that is, we will square the different values of y. Now 7 square is 49, then it is 16, then 9, then 1 square is 1, then minus 1 square is 1, minus 2 square is 4, then 9, it will give 16, and minus 5 square is 25. Now, on adding all the values of dx into dy, we are getting summation dx into dy is equal to minus 87. And here, summation dx square is equal to 60. And summation dy square is equal to 130. And now we have to find the two regression equations. Now, using these results, which are given in the key idea. The regression coefficient of y on x, that is dy x, is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx squared. Now summation dx into dy is minus 87 and summation dx squared is 60. So this is equal to minus 87 over 60, which is equal to minus 29 over 20. Now, the regression equation of y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to dyx into x minus x bar the whole. Now x bar is 15, y bar is 23, and this is the value of bx. So putting all these values here, this implies y minus 23 is equal to minus 29 by 20 into x minus 15 the whole. Which further implies on cross multiplying, 20y minus 460 is equal to minus 29x plus 435, which further implies 20y plus 29x minus age 95 is equal to 0. So this is the regression equation of y on x. Now, the regression coefficient of x on y is given by bxy which is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy square. 
Now summation dx into dy is minus 87 and summation dy square is 130. So this implies bxy is equal to minus 87 over 130. Now the regression equation of x on y is given as x minus x mark is equal to bxy into y minus y by the whole. Now x bar is 15, y bar is 23. And this is the value of bxy. Putting all these values here, this implies x minus 15 is equal to minus 87 by 130 into y minus 23 the whole. This further implies on first multiplying 130x minus 1950 is equal to minus 87y plus 2001 which further gives 130x plus 87y minus 3951 is equal to 0. Now this is the regression equation of x and y. And now we will find the coefficients of correlation. Now using this result which is given in the key idea, r square is equal to byx into bxy. Now this is the value of byx and bxy is equal to minus 87 by 130. Now putting these values here, this implies r square is equal to minus 29 by 20 into minus 87 by 130 which further implies r square is equal to 2523 by 2600 which implies r square is equal to 0 0.9704 approximately which further gives r is equal to plus minus 0 0.9851 approximately. Now, BXY and BYX both being negative therefore R is also negative. As the value of R depends on the value of BXY and BYX and if BXY and BYX both are positive then R is also positive and if BXY and BYX both are negative then R is also negative. So we will consider the negative sign here. Therefore R is equal to minus 0 0.9851 approximately. Hence, the coefficient of correlation is minus 0 0.9851 approximately. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.